All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you for being here. My name is Daniela Clark. Here's my contact information if anybody wants to connect. Um, all right, so now a little bit about myself. Before the mentorship program, I only knew a couple of tools, of just basically front end. And I found GPL Meetup, and then had, that's how I found out about the mentorship program. And I saw the presentations of former mentees, and I saw, and I thought, hey, I can do that. <laughs> I want to do that because many of them just wanted to change their career paths or just do some creative work with programming. So I was like, hey, that sounds cool. Um, but I didn't have any experience in programming or with Python. I was that person that was just like, hey, Python is a thing. <laughs> so I like race it. And um, at the beginning, I was just narrowing down my goals. So um, the main goal was for, for me to just get my wet feet, my Sorry, to get uh, just get to know uh, web development and just try uh, new things with Python and just kind of learn the overall uh, basics of Python. Um, the main points here will be that I learned about virtual environments, why they they are good, and that this was pretty much um, by doing some <laughs> trial and error, um, and then until finally I was able to keep everything in one place, all my dependencies. The other thing was to pick a web framework, and my mentor recommended Flask because of my experience and also because of my project idea. And then eventually, um, well, besides Git and GitHub for um, just version control and also to uh, share my code with my mentor, after that, um, I wanted to just get a new job. <laughs> I, w I thought that I could build my skill set, and so that was one of my main goals as well. And so tonight, I am, sorry, tonight I'm just gonna go over my learning goals, what they were at the beginning, how I use my project idea to learn those concepts. And then, um, just um, overall a sample of, just show you a sample of what I did. So I'm gonna start with the overall purpose of my idea and how many of you have taken a career attitude test? Yeah. <laughs> All right, several people. And for me, this is a source of frustration because they put you in categories based on what you know when you're 18 or 20. And my project was to offer more than that. So um, it was to create a web application in which people could see job samples, they could see requirements, and it will allow the user to save them. And then if they wanted to achieve or get a new job, then they can build towards, they can, um, just work towards that goals, towards learning um, new skills, and that's why I will offer resources for people to just learn uh, new skills overall in programming, so it will be programming jobs. Um, and then, my project evolved along the way. Um, I, was, I encountered a couple of challenges. The first one was unable to get access to APIs for the main job sites, and, and then scraping data content, and then, it has a learning curve, but more than that, the, the main websites with the larger database were blocking me, so that was not successful. And the other main point was to wrap my head around web, web apps, just web applications. Like I said, I'm fairly new, so one of the main concepts here was just to model my data, just building the tables and be able to connect those to um, a database. And tonight, I have a simplified example of one of or some of the tables I use for my project. And over here is my models.py. As you can see, it's, um, it has a table users, it has a table jobs, and my project was, like I said, allow a user to save a job, and the many-to-many -many relationships here, um, you will need to set up an association table for that to work. And so this is just in the shell, how you would do it, just saving a job, saving a user, and then Flash SQL Alchemy just helps you append that job. And on the end, you will see the query just pretty much checking to see that they work. Um, all right, accomplishments. Learn a lot about backend. So that was great. Uh, I use a web framework, Flask. I spent a lot of time using Flask, building my models, understanding the concepts, and then 
Python and using the shell. Before I was scared to just work in the shell. Now I, I feel fairly comfortable using it. And um, I got a new job. So. <laughs>